One of the other reasons that I think that I know that I was attracted to Lyndon Baines Johnson for the subject of this part is that his political legacy is so prominent today. I mean, I, I look at, at the year that this covers, which is November 63 to November 64, as really a hinge point in American politics. It is, in fact, I think, the emergence of the contemporary uh, political situation in America and the beginning of a cycle which I think we are only just now actually beginning to leave, or at least I would like to think we are leaving. Um, this would be when uh, the African-American vote shifts from Republican to Democrat. The South, which has been solidly uh, Democratic, begins to shift into the Republican uh, side of the ledger. Um, racism begins to get codified in the political language as, as not about race, but as about you know, resistance to an overweening federal government. Um, it, 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 everything begins to shift. The, uh, of course, the... Uh, the civil rights movement uh, has its own fracture lines as the emergence of black power uh, becomes stronger and uh, the nonviolent movement uh, begins to, to wane. So it's, a, it's a really quite an extraordinary moment in American history. And, and we are still feeling those, living those repercussions today. We are still arguing over those same issues today. All of the social safety net issues which are hot button issues in Congress and have been for the last uh, four or five years, um, almost all of those were created as part of the great society. So it began a conversation that we are still having and that's why it matters.